Chris, and this is my review and first time startup of the Murray cheapest lawnmower as of July 2021 in Houston, Texas. I got it for $169 at Home Depot. So I'll buy all my stuff from Home Depot because if I have any problems with it, I just walk in there and return it. So this being the cheapest lawnmower, you need to read the reviews on it. About 30% are negative. I do have some concerns. We will go over them as we assemble the lawnmower. But the majority of negative reviews were saying they could not start it or it started and then they could not start it afterwards, things like that. That does concern me. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. The videos I make are more like getting this out of the box for the first time and what we have to do to get it started. And then I just sort of review that process. We don't need to go over every little detail. It's 2021, you can look that up on your phone. So just remember to get your gas. That's your typical E10 gas hole here in Texas. It says no tools. Let's go ahead and unbox it and see how easy it is to get it together. And it does come with the oil. And this is the oil in case you're starting your Briggs and Stratton engine for the first time. It does not come with oil. So we're gonna sort of address the negative reviews as we go. The first ones we can just flush down the toilet immediately are the people that said it's flimsy. There's nothing flimsy about it. It's a cheaper machine. It's still gonna have your Briggs and Stratton motor. That's why I bought it for the engine, but there's nothing flimsy about it. So once you get it out of the box, we're gonna try to straighten out the handle part and screw it together. See these things right here? Let's just try that. took minutes to get it ready and if we needed to store it it'll go back down to the size of that box so another negative review you'll see is they say they instantly cut this and there's actually a picture of it cut out it looks pretty funny so let's tilt it on the side and see what's going on so in case you don't know if there's oil in the engine, it's gonna start running out if you tilt it over on its side, so be careful. So they did have pictures of this cut out, so maybe they changed it or shortened it, but there is no way in the world, this one right here, it's got a metal piece or a hard plastic, is gonna hit and get cut. So I'm pretty sure they did change that. There's a picture a lady posted of this gray part. They're calling this the blade adapter and it actually shows it where it would have broke right here. It's missing the blade and missing this whole part right there. That's a bit terrifying, but it's also possible that they could have just straight up hit a freaking rock or hit a pipe in the ground and it actually busted. The main problem seemed like they couldn't find a replacement and I have a three year warranty or two years, whatever. So I'm gonna definitely be trying to locate those. They should have them. If not, I probably will return this. So the next thing we need to do is put oil in it. And yes, this cover does kind of get in the way, so you will need a funnel. Hopefully this works. Okay. All right, well, it was just shy of the whole bottle. So then screw this back down and you want it kind of tight. Come over here to the spark plug boot and just jiggle it and press forward and make sure that it is making contact. So now we're gonna put gas in it. I live in Houston, Texas, and we have E10. So that's what I'm gonna put in there. So we have oil in it. The gas tank is full. It says prime at three times. It doesn't have no liquid in it. So just pump it up until you can feel liquid. It is leaking gas. Oh no, what is this? It's kind of said that this was on the bad review, that it was leaking gas from the primer bulb. That's not good. I can smell it and it's kind of getting everywhere. God dang it, don't fill me machine. All right, so we're gonna try to start it from the first time. A leaky primer bulb is not enough for me to take it back. So for some weird reason, in case you don't know, 
you have to hold this down to start it. We primed it. It may not start up, but we're just gonna keep messing with it until we get it started. So it can be a problem if we're priming it and the gas is coming out and not going in where it needs to be. We're gonna try to give it more of a faster push. Shut it off real quick because I had the air filter off of it, but you heard it start up. Put and prime it. It is leaking a little bit of gas, but that doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead and put the filter back on and see if we can get it running. So I raised it up. They had it in low rider mode, I guess, for shipping. Let's see if this thing starts up. I am not making this stuff up. The freaking lawnmower died on its own. That is actually in the bad reviews. It started, ran for a few minutes, died, and won't start again. I cannot make this stuff up. Go look at it on the Home Depot website. And you know what? Sometimes the reviews don't lie. I'm taking this machine back. Totally unacceptable. It started right up, but I can feel it like it's not priming. That may be the only issue why it's not starting, but we had it running and then it quit running. It has fresh gas from the gas station. Let me try a little bit more and we'll see what happens. I have went back several times trying to get it to run. And what it seems to be doing is just dumping the gas as we prime it just right out the bottom right here see the gas that's actually a fire hazard and i'm not somebody that's scared of stuff like that or a safety freak but that is not cool so remember i said that really doesn't bother me it really does not but what does bother me is the machine doesn't start Let's try one last time. So it's truly a shame that in 2021, a brand new machine like that doesn't start. This thing is truly a piece of crap. It fails the test. I do not recommend anybody buy this. And I hate to drag Briggs and Stratton into it. I wish it would have been another company's engine, but the truth is that carburetor system on there is garbage. It's trash. Never in my life have I seen anything like that. I'm truly offended by it i've been rebuilding and taking carburetors apart since i was very young with much success but i'm not even going to touch this one i'm just going to return it but as far as a lawnmower i would avoid this i would run from it the reviews were right if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching